It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened, this scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie, simple, just the things he did every day, but looking through his stuff wasn't easy, I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. So you gotta wonder why all these games uh, start off with people with dirty faces. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, this game recommends that you play it with headphones and a, a controller. Uh, so I am playing it with the controller. I normally uh, play with keyboard and mouse. Uh, this one, it has the ability. Um, there's a lot of rumble, and I can feel that with the controller. So I decided to use the controller. So I guess we're looking for a tie clip. And there is something. All right, handwritten calendar. There's something to the right in November that says surgery, I believe. October, Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, funeral at 10, ultrasound. Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy. Send package to Marianne, neurologist visit, funeral at 1230, ultrasound. 
neurosurgeon visit, funeral at 9, funeral at 11, pick up Marianne from train station, November All Saints Day, All Souls Day, and on the 5th, surgery. So, there's a lot of funerals. Is this a funeral home? And somebody that's sick. You know, I can't, I can't move the camera around. I don't know if that's a thing. So I'm just walking her around, I guess, till something lights up. It's kind of strange. Usually you can move the camera around. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Right, I don't know what country we're in. It looks kind of like Russia. But I noticed from the uh, electrical plugins, obviously it's not America. Jack's room. See that clock she's staring at? I got two of those. Look just exactly like that. Damn it. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. So she calls her dad Jack? I'm assuming this is her dad? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Press left uh, bumper to activate insight. Okay, so she's got powers of some... Oh, what's that underneath there? Say goodbye to Jack. Get to the funeral home. Okay, A or X combine. Are we combining something? What's that? The last goodbye. It's a key. Well, now I can move the camera around a little bit. I guess it's only when I'm looking at something. Maybe. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, what about the cat? Jack's waiting downstairs. It's time to say goodbye. This is odd. Okay, this isn't downstairs. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Does that mean she's adopted? Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. We must request that you attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. 
We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavior problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Yeah, that'd be tough, wouldn't it? Be an outcast for something you can't control. I'm trying to get used to the controls because you, you don't you can't control the camera. So you can only control her. Kitchen, cat food. It's empty. Um what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I guess I can't do anything. I don't know what that down arrow means. Punching buttons, nothing's happening. Looks north. Oh, that must mean there's something to go in there. All right, well, let's um, take it, I guess. Then, I now I can put it in there, I guess. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Here you go. What's your face? What's your face? You don't know the cat's Glad name? I see you're still kicking around. Or maybe that is the cat's name. What's your face? What's the grinder for? Newspaper. Symbolic funeral of the Sirza Mine. Good, good morning, Krakow. All right, we're wasting our time here. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, wow. A dark room. How to develop photos. Illuminate photos for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three seconds. Dip in, st uh, in stop for three seconds. Dip in fixer for three seconds. Now I used to be a photographer, so I used to do a lot of this back in the day. Starting out with black and white because uh, color was pretty expensive. So we used to learn uh, on black and white because we could shoot all we wanted. It was pretty cheap to do. All right, so uh, these are the three stages that we just read about. Oh, I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Oh, we've got one that wasn't processed? Okay, have we got a timer? How does she do this? All right, let's look at this again. So was this already processed from a negative? All right. There must be a negative in that projector thing. Okay. Ugh. Wrong fluid. What? I need to apply it in the right order. Okay, so it must go from 
It must go from uh, this end. Okay. Try this again. Uh, went too long. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. But well, he looks pretty healthy there. Okay, so how do we get where how do we get out of here? Where's the How do we get in here? From the hallway. There we go. Oh I gotta go this way. Wait a minute, let's check this out. Bathroom. Um, is it just me? Is this place really dark? Interesting. Guess our business is done in there. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Okay, so do I go outside? I guess so. It's really strange that you can't change the camera angle. At least I can't change it. The game does. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. All right, so that's, that explains why she calls him Jack. What's this? The last goodbye funeral home. It's kind of... Um, well, it's, I, I, I don't know whether that's a good name for a funeral home or not. Okay, she's got a key. So let's use the key. Jack's in the prep room. Well, which one's the prep room? Huh, oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, we're just supposed to look at it, I guess. Is that the tree of life?
All right, there's a key. Here it is. Okay. Car accident, cause of death, car accident. I can't read that, but it's a note. Is that a note from me? I don't know why we can't read it. Hmm. All right, well, we'll deal with that later, I guess. We do have the key. Let's kind of see if we can walk around the room here. I can't imagine being a funeral director as a living. That would be really hard emotionally. Are we going downstairs? Oh man. Why is everything so dark? I sw I couldn't I couldn't do this for a living. If I did, man, I'd have the brightest lights. I'd have daylight lights everywhere. <sighs> not sure if I'm ready. For I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. Calm about it. She gonna have to do this by herself? What's going on here? Okay, she wanted to put his uh, lapel pin on. Jack's clip. Why can't I select it? What's it going on? I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Oh, there's no tie. Okay. They didn't put a tie on. There it is. Combine the clip with the tie. So we can choose that and then that. That puts the clip on there. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Pretty stiff tie. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Was she Michael Jackson? She only has one glove. But am I? I'd left the lights on. Yes, when I play these kind of games, I turn the lights off. I've got headphones on. 
check upstairs. I don't want to. Uh oh. She can't see that? All right, what's that about? What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Is there a light switch? What happened? Is that a broken chair? Guess you felt it too, huh? And then it happened, as it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Is that an urn? Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh, Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? What's with the mask? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Eh? Where is that thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? Where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. Huh? It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Huh? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's time to get some rest. Oh, Marianne. Yeah? No. Uh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? <laughs> yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know... I promised myself once I, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Man, this is weird. No. Get some uh, rest. I, I need no. Yes. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Oh. That's pretty clever how they've done that. You can see that she sees. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Now she calls him Daddy. I wonder if she ever said that to him. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But 
No. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You'd need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Well, that's pretty cryptic. Shit. 